Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to build yourself a giant tombstone and zombie arm. Without further ado, let's investigate how we'd go about this. Starting off, get yourself a decently large flat area. Of course, you need to have the tombstone and the zombie arm. And then what you want to do is place down probably three blocks wide, or actually three blocks wide this way, of cyan terracotta, something like this. And then count maybe 15 or so blocks, depends on how big you're going. And then this is 12, right here is 15. And now I have the grave kind of ready for building. But you might have to go a little bit thicker if you want writing, and you only want it to be on one side. If you want to have writing and it to only be on one side, then you're going to have to go four blocks wide. And then if you want it to be engraved in, you'll have to go five blocks and move your cobble deep slate if you use that as the inside. Essentially, we want to have the outside be a little bit thicker and then stone on either side because here's what the stone does. You can use stairs on it and then the cobble deep slate on the inside looks like writing. Continue this upward for a couple of blocks, maybe like 20 or so, and then you'll be ready to go on to the next step. Optionally, you might want to make the edges of the grave rounded like that. Right here, you can see I have one side of the gravestone along with the normal stone in the middle. And what you want to do here is make it go upward at a 45 degree angle. Whether it meets in the middle with the other side or it has a flat piece, that's up to you, but something like this will work. And then you'll want to do a little bit of a cyan terracotta outline. One block on the bottom as well to make it look actually embedded into the ground. Place the outermost block with more cyan terracotta and then do that outline up here. For the sides, they're a little bit thicker, but there isn't really much else to say because it's a simple staircase and you're using cyan terracotta which doesn't even have a stair variant, which means this should be pretty easy to do. You have that part in the middle, you wrap it around on the other side, and now you have a generic and large tombstone which we can decorate. Right here, I have the grave. It's now 13 blocks wide, which is a spooky coincidence. I just needed it to be odd numbered. And now I started doing some extra details. First off, I have some cracks in it, and you can see the cobbled deep slate behind it. Originally, that was going to be for engravings, but it turns out that doesn't exactly work. So, I used more cyan terracotta to make some fudged text to include name, day of birth, and day of death. So, you know, typical headstone stuff. And now, what you want to do is add a little symbol to the top, whether it be another grave, a skull, or a cross, something fitting. And then, now you have your grave. Use some stairs and slabs in order to make it seem a little damaged. No headstone is going to be completely perfect, especially because something called the elements outside. So, do some damage to it in order to make it seem more realistic, and maybe even incorporate a few other blocks in there, maybe some tuff or andesite, and then do the same to the back. And now you'll be ready for the actual grave part. You want to do a thick layer of coarse dirt going all around, so that way we have some dirt without anything growing on it. Right here, you can see the tombstone now has some tuff on it, some buttons, pretty damaged too, and now it looks more realistic. On the back, I did the same thing, nothing really to talk about here. I added some coarse dirt mounds, and then a thick border of it, Notice it's not perfect, which is intentional, and now it looks like it's been recently placed. And that's kind of the point, it's a zombie coming out of it. And now what you want to do is before placing down any of the zombie stuff, get some rooted dirt, and then you want to make some lines across this. Something like this. And now I'm going a little bit fast, but this long arching line, you can see how that adds a little bit of texture onto it some roots as if there was a big tree nearby, etc. Keep these in place, and then you'll want to start roughly in the middle, make sure it's lined up, and then potentially about this size for the arm. 
and then you'll want it to go up. Of course, try to see what dimensions work best, and if need be, watch ahead if you're having trouble. Right here, I have this gray monolith sticking out, and I also have some foliage around the grave. This singular poppy, so that way I have a generic story. And now, it's time for the actual arm. It doesn't need to be very tall. This could be an appropriate height, but there's one thing you should keep in mind. Having a gray monolith like this and having nothing else on it can get kind of boring. I recommend texturing it and adding a gradient. Use some gray wool and some gray concrete powder and make it into a tuxedo, which means depending on whether this is a left or right arm, you also want to make a little bit of a white zone. Although, that should be one block inward since that's the undercoat. Like this, make it go up like this, and what do you know? If you add a singular button or two here, now it actually looks like a little piece of a suit popping out. The hand will be lime green because it's generic, but also recognizable. Now, all the way up here, make sure the gray goes to the top, and that the button is not the last block. And now, you can start placing a little bit of lime concrete just to designate that this is in fact the top. If it bulges out like this, that's completely fine. In fact, I almost recommend it. Right here, you can see the monolith has now been turned into a fist rising from the ground. From the bottom, mud, gray concrete, gray wool, gray concrete powder. And now, you can see how that makes a gradient that goes up. And then, from the bottom, you can also see another dirt mound, kind of like what's around the tombstone itself. This is to make sure that, well, it's realistic, didn't get out clean. If you somehow manage to stick your entire body in the ground and come up without any dirt on you, please comment below how you do it, I'd love to learn that skill. But anyways, make sure you have the dirt for realism reasons, and then, I have this little white part, you can see how it has the buttons on it. And then this part here juts out a little, simply so I could change the dimensions on the hand itself. It only has three fingers. You can try giving it jewelry, but personally I found that it doesn't work and kind of makes it look like a weird frog, so none of that. And then some lime terracotta to divide the fingers. Right here is a thumb, not the best thumb, but gets the point across. And now you have a giant grave with has a giant zombie arm coming out of it. If you're wondering how I get the gray concrete powder levitating here, look closely. It's string. Make sure you always have string handy if you're working with gravity affected blocks. And now, it's a little piece of decor for your outdoor builds. While some other things might be a little bit more minecrafty, like a pumpkin or a skeleton, you know, I really wish I could redub those tutorials. I had such a cringy voice back then. But, anyways, it's a more interesting and unique one. Who's really going to build this on a whim? People are going to choose more generic options, which isn't always bad, but if you ever wanted to stand out, this is the way to do it. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. And sorry for this releasing on a Wednesday. I was initially going to build a cemetery. You can see all the way over there, I did just the beginning. And then the Pale Forest got announced, and I realized that I really needed those blocks for the inspiration I was grabbing. Hint, it's the same game as the Earth Mover. So, that was off the table for a while. So, sorry about the delay. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day. Take notice that I'm using a slightly altered version of my skin. Gearsaw, out.